Now, Daniel, uh, you already have the part of co-host, but what if you had to audition? <laughs> yes. Um, this is a movie I've been meaning to watch for a, a, a while, but, or, well, and by a while, I mean maybe four years. Um, ever since I started uh, making my foray into the horror genre, um, I've seen a lot of uh, different horror shows and horror people talking about this movie. And um, having known what it was about, I kind of avoided it. But I finally decided, OK, uh, time for me to take the plunge on this. So uh, so Audition is a uh, Japanese horror movie from uh, 1999. Uh, and it's about a middle-aged man named uh, Oyama, uh, and he's uh, seven years removed uh, from the passing of his wife, and he's uh, starting to feel very lonely because his uh, his son is about ready to go uh, to graduate from high school and go off to you know wherever college or whatever he's going to do. And uh, so one night he's sitting uh, at a bar with his friend um, uh, Yoshikawa, uh, who is a movie producer. And he gives uh, Oyama uh, an idea that uh, if he wants to find a wife, uh, he could just have an audition for her you know, to find her. Hence the title of the movie Audition. Uh, so. Huh. Yeah, so his so his friend basically sets up this. Uh, well, he's he's actually kind of making the movie because uh, there's a movie that you know that they're gonna do, and uh, he sits in on the auditions. Uh, Oyama sits in on the auditions for all the for the leading actress, and uh, his his buddy tells him, "Oh, you know the the lead actress isn't gonna want to be with you, but you know one of the runner ups, you know you might be able to find someone in there." Um, <clears throat> And uh, during that, uh, during the auditions, uh, uh, Oyama is really taken by uh, uh, Asami, uh, and that's the girl on the poster. And when he first meets her, uh, she's she presents herself kind of like, um, I hate to say the stereotypical Japanese woman, but kind of the stereotypical Japanese woman. She's very demure um she's you know soft-smoken uh dresses modestly um and of course uh despite the age gap you know he's you know, oyama's very taken with her and so most of the movie uh, at least, uh so basically the the three act structure of the movie is the first act is when he oyama meets asami you know he falls madly in love with her uh, but course during this time his friend is kind of like yeah there's something off about this girl you know they he's he's you know looks into her he can't really find anything about her like all of her references never checked out and all this uh but oyama doesn't care because he's so smitten with her uh and then a classic mistake yes yes um uh and then the second act um he uh, Oyama starts finding out more about her and uh, starts finding out some very disturbing facts surrounding her. And then, but then by the third act, he finds out just what is going on with her, and it um, let's just say it doesn't go well for him. Uh, um, oof. Yeah. Um, the the third. Uh, I'll say the third act of the movie is brutal. Um, when I and even though I knew what was going to happen, and I knew you know I've seen some of the imagery, like the entire, it was still kind of shocking to see. Um, it was a, a bit not quite as bad as uh, Elf and Lead, but pretty close. So I'm I'm noticing that the cover here has a bunch of what looks like some sort of wire with uh, blood on it. Is yes. This, is, is there a lot of uh, piano wire in this? um yeah there's wire in there um it's uh there is one scene where where somebody's playing the piano um hmm. yeah but uh but yeah it, it's uh i think it's like one of those like garrot wires yeah 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 it, it's it, yeah, yeah. It, she uses it to to full effect um 
And uh, this is one of those movies that is, uh, it's not one of those, it, it's not one of those fun horror movies, you know, like a, you know, like, like it, it's not, it's not watching a guy wearing a hockey mask and a machete killing right. camp counselors. It's, this is like, when the movie, when it finally ended and the credits were rolling, it was one of those like, hits you hard, like makes you think movies okay. uh, yeah yeah and it, yeah oh, sorry you were saying no i was just saying uh, uh arcos uh points out yeah say i can fix her yeah that's <laughs> <laughs> oh yama fans oh yama fans yeah you silly man yeah <laughs> um and uh but uh yeah and i agree too yeah train to busan is another good one too um but yeah it, it's it, it, and, and we were, you know, what I was alluding to earlier, where he was just, where Oyama is just completely overlooking all of the the red flags from uh, Asami. Uh, it, it, you can see it as kind of a cautionary tale because I think a lot of men, um, myself included, I mean, we've, I've, we've had relationships kind of like this. You know, maybe not necessarily with a with someone who is, you know, a, a you know, a killer, but, um, but somebody that, you know, it's like, you know, you're just so taken with her and early now I'll say this happens with women too, but, uh, you know, you're just so taken with somebody that you ignore all the, a lot of the red flags. And then by the time you realize what's going on, it's usually too late. Um, right. And, and especially with men, um, like, especially with, with that sort of traditional Japanese woman, uh, you don't really expect a lot of pushback and this is sounds like some very heavy pushback. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. And, and it's, um, yeah, it's like I said, it's, it's, um, it's, it, you know, the, the, it's the third act's very graphic. Um, and it does, you really don't kind of expect like, I mean, if you, if you go into this movie cold, not knowing what's going to happen, the third act's probably going to be a bit of a shock uh, because you know, the, most of the movie, it kind of starts off as like a cute love story. And then it just, but then it devolves into this gruesome horror movie. And it's just like, oh. Uh, but um, I, I, I would say a, a cautious recommend for, you know, if you're into the horror genre, you've either probably seen this movie or you're it's on your radar. Um uh, and uh, it's, but I mean, if you kind of have to have a, have to be in the right mood, and you have to have certain fortitude to to watch it. Uh, it's on uh, Shutter right now. So, okay. I mean, well, it sounds like it's very well made. Absolutely not my kind of movie. Uh, yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 